And you know what's so funny? Mm -hmm. This is what I will not prepare myself for. I will not prepare myself to be upset. That's what I can't do. Some people are only preparing themselves to be upset. Mm -hmm. I'm not prepared to be upset, preparing to be upset. I'm prepared to deal with higher role. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you like, yo, it's going to be some people. It's true. I mean, there's it's no, gonna be there's some no people, guarantees. No guarantee mm -hmm. either no guarantees. way. So what are you, how are you going to work with either one? Right? Because it's going to be some people like. <sighs> yeah, for sure. Oh, I fucking can't believe it. I know Don Lemon probably would jump off a building. <laughs> 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 nigga, if anybody, if anybody <laughs> want that nigga not to get reelected, Don Lemon. Don Lemon. He don't want no parts of no Trump. This nigga, Don Lemon, will not stop talking about this motherfucking mask. <laughs> ah! I'm like, nigga, I get the whole mask shit, but there's nothing else you can be mad at right now. It's just the mask. It's, I'm so sick of like, Every conversation about this motherfucker is the mass, the mass. He didn't have the mass. They talking about, they call it his barbecues, super spreader barbecues, super spreader president. You saw how important it is. What? You saw the scare that we had and how, if you can avoid. Yeah, no, I know. Uh, it. I know. Oh, here's the spread, thing. You know? Yeah, I understand that. Mm -hmm. I know how we avoided it for an entire summer or whatever, right? But this is where we, I'll tell you number one reason why we avoided it is that we, as responsible people, did not go places where irresponsible people hang out, mm -hmm. their activities, or none of that. That's how we did the bubble. You know what I'm saying? It's like, and my point is, like, I got yelled at so much because I didn't agree with Donald Trump, but I said, uh, not to be uh, talking politics or anything, I said, but we can't be afraid. You can't, this is what it was. This is what resonated with me. Whatever his political messages was, the thing that resonated with me is that we can't live in fear. Mm -hmm. That's what resonated. That's what it was. And I said, it was like, as soon as I said it, like, oh, you agree with him? No. I agree with the message of we can't live in fear. And the reason why I, people are like, you live in fear? The reason why I know we, we don't live in fear because what we did over the summer in Yellow Springs, when we first started doing that, there was always a possibility that the bubble could be popped. But every day, we was living like the bubble ain't gonna never pop. Not being irresponsible, but doing what was in our protocol. Every day, we was living a bubble fucking life, having fun. People saw them pictures on the internet, oh, they don't blah, 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 blah. Cause we had, we had protocol, we had steps we took for everything. And then the shit popped, right? It popped. The thing that I respect about the way this bubble pop, none of these things that we do in regard to what's going to be the next normal in life are not, we're not going to be able to do them without the chance of some failure or something not working. That's going to be proven with vaccines and everything. It's going to be some shit. Then you're going to start looking at numbers. You know what I'm saying? Did we succeed? Yes. For a long time. But the most important thing is once the bubble this the thing. Once the bubble pop, what the fuck do you do now? Do you ignore it? Let me say this. Do you ignore it? Do you like, oh man, who tested positive? Um, let's just put them in, let them quarantine and don't say nothing to nobody. Right? Don't say nothing to nobody because the chances are he might not have contacted so-and-so. You got these numbers are is who was he around he wasn't really around him you could act like that which is the worst thing to do or you could go into proactive mode which means everything is shut you saw how shit that quick that shit happened mm -hmm. nigga this shit happened so quick it was like whop and grand opening grand closing i'm talking about seeing motherfucking jets and shit get the fuck I had never seen my, it felt like it felt like a recall in the military like yo y'all get the military you know war niggas get that bag you got you gotta be in the, yo, like <laughs> it was that but it was what what happened happened uh, motherfucker went to quarantine 
the regimen of testing went from what was every three days to mm. every fucking day at any expense every fucking day it went into every day to flatten that shit what happened motherfucker got quarantined he got quarantined they got quarantined for two weeks started off a couple people I've never spoken about this before a couple people then reality as you know if it's a couple today if it's one today it's gonna be another one tomorrow if it's another one tomorrow there's gonna be two more and that's what you don't that's the crazy thing because you don't know how it's gonna go you don't know but in this situation we went from five people that tested positive um, for COVID-19 the day that it's supposed to pop and be like 10, 15, 20 it went negative the day when it was supposed to be 30, 40 it went negative it that, went negative that's swift acting with that's responsible people that's what I'm saying So when it and with access right so right. if it's on the flip side yeah. irresponsible people not having access and not being swift causes eruption no it's not that it's an irresponsibility because the, when I go back to it talking when I say um, personal responsibility you have to know where you can't go so isn't that going back to like <clears throat> holding the president accountable and uh, for wearing a mask because it represents responsibility yes I and do <laughs> I do understand that but the sign that's that, that that's that's not the only thing it needs to represent mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying as much as what you wearing one represents when you don't wear one that represents something else like for me if I see somebody without a mask it's just like and it's unfortunate but them are the people I stay away from those are the people you stay away from it's unfortunate that your the statement you want to make you don't give a fuck I've seen it. I did a show in fucking Irvine, California this weekend. A lot of Trump supporters over there. You know what I'm saying? I ain't mad at a Trump supporter or anything. But a lot of people that I know support him for whatever reason. And I saw some people like like families that didn't seem like, because for the most part, when you think about somebody not wearing a mask, you like you think like, yeah, that's right. I don't wear one because, you know, believe in what he says. And I bought Rachel. <laughs> and I told him, man, that's my president just because. And I don't care now, no reason, but just cause, and I'm gonna do it cause my daddy, granddaddy, and all of them did it. <laughs> Got my vote every time. Right, Cleo. <laughs> right, Cleo. Every time he got my goddamn voice. That's who I think about when I think of a no mask wearing nigga. We were in Atlanta, uh, Javanta. We found some nature out there, and we went to a neighborhood that we was like. Like when you're in a big city, whatever, you don't really feel the Trump effect. Go close to a coastline with boats and shit, you feel the Trump effect. Mm -hmm. Niggas is having regular rallies, like black people have foot rallies. These niggas is having boat rallies, nigga. And them boats, yo, you know what a boat rally represents? Uh, these motherfuckers have money. Mm -hmm. Yo, niggas. First off, you gotta have a certain amount of stacks to even get in the boat rally. Uh, I love my man Forty from Brooklyn. He can't. I don't think he can get in the boat rally. You know these mm -hmm. boat rallies. You see them. You see them. You like, goddamn. You shouldn't. They got the big ass. Where the fuck these niggas getting all these flags from? Trump supporters. <laughs> they got the flag industry locked, nigga. Every time I see a Black Lives Matter, Black Lives Matter flag, it's, like really tiny. it's little niggas pulling them out their back pocket and shit. Niggas got huh. The biggest thing I saw was a Black Lives Matter, right? These Trump joints got this shit. The wavy shit. With them horns. Fuck! <laughs> Fuck! Them niggas is motherfucking... Do you remember that gas station that you went into? Oh, my God. Mm -hmm. I was going to get to that. This is why I knew these Trumpers. And I wasn't, I wasn't mad. It didn't boil my blood. Because I said to myself, motherfuckers have a right to be whatever they fucking want to be. I never understand how people, how you mad? Don't fuck with that person. I know it's tough, but what about the policies that they, I get all that shit. But you can choose to be, not be around people. So we were going to find a river, a course to river, mind you. Motherfuckers want to talk shit because I was on a lazy river all fucking summer. So what? We went to uh, River on Elijah or something. It was, 
hour outside of um, Buckhead. We passed all the, it was so interesting seeing the transition, Javan, to this, I never even thought about this. But from leaving Midtown to going to the suburbs, it went from like, hey, <laughs> Yas, 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 yas. And the further we got out, it went to like, what you doing around here? And it felt like that. <laughs> it shit. felt like that. We went through two different, two different shit, son. It felt like that. But it felt like that. I was like, so what? I don't have to inter I don't have to interact with these people, whatever. But then we, we had I had to get some drinks, some uh, non-alcoholic beverages. I know y'all find that hard to believe, but I did. And I walked into this convenience store and I had a mask on, right? When I walked to this store, it was like five unmasked faces looking at me directly in my mask and looking at me like I was weird. Like they was really looking at me like, hey, hey asshole, either take that mask off or get the fuck out of here. They looked at me like that and it, it was crazy and it wasn't like they didn't like put their mask on it looked like they didn't even know where to begin to purchase a mask. <laughs> like, all right, you got a mask, uh, uh, where can you get one? Then I was like this, they're in this little area, so I know the chances of them getting corona, they just, in their community, I can get it. But it also represented someone that's wanted to say, fuck your mask. And I don't have a problem with you saying, fuck your mask, I'm gonna be like, I won't be in your face. Man. So do you? What about the people that don't have a choice not to be in people's faces? What do you people mean? People that have to work with anti-maskers or people ha that have to interface with these people that they they're in in some shape or form having to be around these people. There's no where where that really there for the most part. There's no way where that place exists. So in Starbucks, where you can't there, separate. There was a video. Um, this woman was purchasing her coffee and then there's a black um, worker and she's like I can't serve you because you don't have a mask and she's like fuck black lives matter da, da. she wouldn't leave she got all in the lady's face okay so when you do that when you do that if somebody's like that what you do that first off what you do is first off if you if you got I know this sounds crazy that's a high risk job you know what I mean I know my, that might not be the only job I know that could have been the only job you got but if someone does that and they won't adhere to the policies that they were in place for both of them to be safe I would immediately walk away from them, go into another room. I put a mask on and call the motherfucking police, and I wouldn't enter. I wouldn't explain their policies anymore or anything. I would be like, because you know that in, in your training now, they're going to train you to say you're going to get the person that does not want to adhere to the policies. In the event that you get that, these are the actions you take. You don't fight for the company. You don't do any of that. The minute that the situation that could put you in, a, un, in an unhealthy situation. You have to remove yourself. And there's nobody in America, no company or nothing is going to not take your side on that. Mm. You know what I'm saying? It's time to roll with the Donald Roll, roll Show. show. Uh. Donald Roll Show. Nickel.